Welcome back to the Breakpoint Tournament Expert Division qualifying round, hole number four. Here we're going to be playing a sniper rough bump for the hole in one. The adjustment is P1 plus 15% max numbers using sniper 10 numbers. The spin set is 0 0.8 backspin, one left spin. What I'll tell you on the 0.8 backspin is I would favor 0.7 backspin over 0.9 backspin, all right? Because if you add too much backspin, then you're going to end up coming up just short of the cup, and nobody really wants to do that. I'd rather be a little bit high of the cup, come in the top of the cup, because you'll see that the ball kind of slopes down towards the hole. So you'll be better off favoring 0.7 over 0.9. But the spin set is 0.8 back, one left. What we're going to do is set up with our spins added. We're going to have the green ring touching the fairway on the left. And we're going to have the tip of the ball guide just going into the top edge of the cup. So I got my spins added, green ring touching on the left, and the tip of the ball guide just going into the top edge of the cup. You'll see I'm going to spin it around, show you we're just in the top edge there. There's two major wind angles here that you're going to need to pay attention to. Let me throw my lines on so I can show you. This shot here is a crosswind angle, so there's no tweaks needed, and I'll tell you why. All right, so what we're looking at when we adjust this shot, I'm going to adjust it and I'm going to end up on the fairway here. And if you notice the fairway, the fairway slopes up, it has a little, a little hump on it, right? And so when I adjust to this point, I'm actually raising my elevation a little bit so I don't need any overpower. But in the crosswind angle, if you adjust and you end up in the rough over here, that'll be the crosswind angle. So I can give you a point of reference. Basically, anything you know here and to the left is crosswind, no tweaks needed. Anything to the right will be tailwind, and you'll need tweaks according to wind strength, all right? But the easiest way to look at it, so you don't have to worry about, you know, lining up your trees or any of that shit, is if you adjust and you end up on the fairway, you're good. You don't need to add any changes to the shot. If you adjust and you end up on the rough, then you need to add clicks of OP, as I'm about to tell you. So in winds 6.3 or lower, you don't need to add anything. And winds 6.4 to 6.9, add one click of overpower. And wind between 7 and 7.5, I'll add two clicks of overpower. And then winds between 7.6 and 7.7, I'll add three clicks of overpower. And that's only if I adjust and end up in the rough. If I adjust and end up on the fairway, then I don't need to do anything different here. And that's also making sure that you're not adding too much backspin, right? If you go 2.9 or 0.9 backspin versus 0.8, you're going to get a different rollout, right? So play this shot, practice it a couple times, see what kind of rollout you're getting. You might need to tweak your offset slightly. Might need to tweak, you know, how you pull it a little bit. But this one has been pretty consistent. Very good chance at a drop. As long as you get everything right. Pull straight, hit perfect. You have a really good chance at a drop for the holy one here. So, good luck. Hope you get the drop. We'll see you on the next hole.